I just finished filming the last part of my video. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that Dano did a little funny joke for me in the morning, which I thought it was hilarious, you know. It could be motherly humor from her child, or maybe you guys will think it's funny too. I'm going to add it in right after this part of the video, and then it'll continue on to where I actually started to do my vlog. So, enjoy. If you have anything that you guys, suggestions of what you want to hear from me, um, if I have advice on anything, I do have a lot of advice. I'm a really good advice giver. And I'm also actually like really funny. See, my words are like, blue. it's too early for me. <laughs> but I'm going to go home and have my coffee. I hope you enjoyed the vlog and let me know what you think in the comments below. Give a like, thumbs up, and subscribe. Have a nice day. Alright, enjoy the rest of the video, guys. Bye-bye. The kids do that, too, so. Bye. So, Daniel has a little joke for me this morning. So, thought you guys would like to hear it and see the funny facial expression that I just seen. What's your joke, Daniel? What did the light bulb say to the curtain? I have no idea. You wanna play? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, you have any more jokes? No. That's it for this morning? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Bye. Bye. See you later. See you later, alligator. See you later. Alligator. Alligator. Oh, okay. Hi. So, it's me again. I think this will be vlog number two. Um, I'm waiting to take Daniel to school. He's going to be getting down a little. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Hi Ashley. Hi. So, baby's in her seat. Can't see her, but... Yeah, so... This is me. On natural, no makeup. I'm kind of like... Rocking the natural eyebrows. Yee me. And that's only because... I have a really funny story actually about my eyebrows that like now I'm like loving my eyebrows. When I was younger, uh, I always did my eyebrows real real thin. I like really loved it like that. I guess like that was the style back then. I have a real thin eyebrow and not too much to it. And I just grew out of it recently. <laughs> it's the new trend I guess. but. I, I never really had much eyebrows though, so I, I had no other choice than to actually kind of just follow what was the trend back then. So, when I was actually pregnant with Ashley back there, hi Ashley! Hi! Yeah, when I was pregnant with her and I was barbecuing late at night and we had a really like older kind of barbecue and you know some barbecues kind of have a little issue with it and we had to instead of pushing the button you know i'm pushing the button we had to light it physically with like a little lighter so turn the gas on you go and you light it and then okay yeah it's lit um i left the gas open a little bit for too long and i went in the house to go and um start grilling some uh grilled onions for our burgers and then I went to go shower and went upstairs and I actually like to moisturize my body and my skin with um, olive oil because it really helps. It does. It sounds weird. I'm not food. <laughs> but it works. So I got the olive oil, you know, I moisturized my body, put it, applied it everywhere like lotion. And then I go down and I'm like, oh, uh oh, I forgot to light the barbecue. But the gas was open. So I got the torch lighter and I leaned down to kind of eyeball. So I went to kind of eyeball like where is that hole, right? So I can light it. And when I lit it, boosh! Big flame like you would see in the movies when stuff blows up in your face. It blew up in my face. 
And I was just like, oh my god, and I'm literally like, I'm going like this, like trying to pat the fire out. And it like, you can see these little baby hairs. It like burned that little baby hairs in front of my hair. And it like burnt my eyebrows. They went kind of crispy. So when I went and I touched it, they like crumbled and they pieced off. And I'm like, oh my God, I was like, my eyebrow. My face felt like it was on fire because I had that oil on there that I just put on after I showered. So I was pretty much like barbecued. Crispy eyebrow. My face was kind of like red from being burnt, and luckily I didn't get like actual third degree burns or anything that was drastic. It was just like I like lost a little bit of hair. Um, like my eyebrows got sabotaged, <laughs> and um, my face got burnt a little. So, I'm going to go and run Daniel down to class, and then I'm going to continue my story because it gets funny. So, alright. Say bye, Daniel. Bye. Bye. Look how many teeth are loose on our last. Okay. Bye. I'll, I'll continue it right now. Okay, I'm back. When I was jogging Daniel to the class right now, I just realized I'm recording up instead of sideways, so sorry about that. I'm still new to vlogging, so videos and everything. So now we're gonna do a little rotation. Yay! See that way I don't lose um I don't like the camera that way. We're gonna go the other way again now, you guys. Here, ready. Boop. This is still new to me. Okay, I think I might want, I don't know. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna do one more. I'm probably making you guys dizzy, huh? I don't know which way I wanna look on this camera. Probably the other way, sorry. Okay, so I think my phone actually cut me off a little bit. Uh, I had an ad pop up and now it's just closed so I think I had to restart but okay so I still don't I'm not used to it I'm used to looking at myself and then still seeing myself and it was fine but now I gotta look over here at this little hole so it looks like I'm looking at you guys but okay whatever so let's see yeah, so now that I figured out, my phone was not long ways so that you guys don't have a full, long, little upright deal. Because I'm used to doing, like, Snapchat videos and videos for Facebook and stuff. And I'm so used to trying to get that perfect picture to have it full, upright. And I never even thought about, like, hey, you know... What about the empty sides when they turn the phone sideways and then you flip the whole thing? But, you know, it's all it's still new to me, so. But, um, okay, so I fixed that problem. Back to my story so I don't get too off track because I'll, I'll keep saying so many different stories. Like, but, so after I got burned in my face and I already patted it all out, like, okay, I went to the bathroom, I went to go rinse off my face and try to cool it down and I was just like oh my god and I actually got um, some butter I had to get butter and I rubbed the butter on my face and it feels really weird really really weird I'm like Ugh, right now my words still really tired stayed up late Mama. um yeah baby okay I'll get you some right now um yeah I don't have any on me in the back but after I put the butter on my face and kind of cooled my face down and prevented it from kind of like healing you know or making it worse butter helps burns then I had to deal with the next following day 
what am I going to do about my makeup? Now that my hair was like gone, I used to part my hair to the side. I had to part my hair to the side and I would fold it over. That was the only way to like hide the little scorch hairs that are like barely growing back still. And that, she's like, she's a little over three years old, a year, three years and five months now. And my hairs still have not grown completely back. So now I'm getting it. Sorry, I got a message. So now that the hairs are barely growing back, at least I'll have my hair back. My eyebrows just barely finished growing back. I ended up deciding the next day. I shaved my eyebrow off the rest of the way completely. Because I was like, you know what? More than half the eyebrow was gone on both sides. And there's no point of trying to draw and color in and stuff. If they're still going to be kind of fluffy, patchy spots all over. So, I just shaved them off. I said, I'm going to wing it from here. And hopefully I can remember where my eyebrow was. Which was, you know... People have so many different styles of eyebrows, and I was just like, I don't want to have that crazy looking eyebrow that doesn't look right on me, because some people could rock different eyebrows, don't get me wrong, but I didn't want to go and draw the wrong kind of eyebrow on me, because I never drew my eyebrows before, and to lose my eyebrows and have to wing it and just draw some eyebrows on, because obviously I got to get up, get ready, because it was a, I think it was like a Sunday night. So Monday morning, I was like, bam, like I got to figure out how am I drawing this eyebrow on? Because it's not like I can't say, hey, I'm staying home until my, my eyebrows grow back before I take my kids to school again. No, it doesn't work like that. So it's like, hey, you lost your eyebrows. You better figure out what's going to look right on you in that little bit of time in the morning so that you can have some kind of eyebrow on your face before you go and drop your kids off at school. So... Yeah, baby, hold on. Can I get her some water? I will right now. Let me get her a water. Okay, I'm back. She just drank some water and put it away, so. Okay, no more with her right now. Um, see, I lose my train of thought. Having kids just makes you forget about everything. I do wear glasses. Um, but I don't like wearing them in my videos. I just established that because I don't like the glare. You know, I kind of like that eye contact sort of thing. And how are you going to see my eyeballs with the light shining on it? But, you know. Okay, so I just splatted some eyebrows on the next morning on a Monday and thought I did. Eh, okay. Decent enough to drop them off. I actually was like, okay, I wear glasses, so it kind of hide it a little bit. Um, wear a beanie, because it's colder in the mornings. Hey, I can kind of hide it more with that. And I had to figure it out from there, each day from there. And, you know, I think the worst feeling is, is that if I shower and I wash all my makeup off, like, I can't just run out the door. Unless I draw my eyebrows on. I think that's like the... One of the struggles. The struggle is real. If, you, if you're if you not comfortable with having no eyebrows, you know, to have to up and run out your door. I remember I ordered pizza one of the nights. My husband's like, hey, go pay. He's running upstairs because he's like, I'm not just going to throw a t-shirt on to, to go pay the pizza man. And I was like, put my eyebrows. He's like, my t-shirt. And I'm like, but honey, my eyebrows. You know, like, that's scarier. I lost the battle, you know, obviously. He already ran away. I had to go and get the wallet and be the pizza man. I'm pretty legitly sure I scared that pizza man, like, opening the door with no eyebrows on. That was, like, uncomfortable to me. From having a little bit of eyebrow to having no eyebrow. It's not an experience that I, I really enjoyed. But... I was like, it was, I had to plan everything around it. I can't throw my trash out until I draw my eyebrows off. 
I can't take the kids to school until I draw my eyebrows on. Um, I don't want to pay the pizza man unless I draw my eyebrows on. Uh, I couldn't do anything fast. I had to plan around, do I have time to draw my eyebrows on? So I would actually start drawing them, leaving it on there, and just keep recoloring it in, like, maybe leave it like that for like two days, maybe three, and then wash it off, because after that, it kind of just like starts looking old or something, because it'll be like fluffy a little bit. I don't know, I can't really explain it. Like when the makeup kind of, you can tell when makeup's bad. So, after I dealt with that for a while and then now my eyebrows already grew back, it's like, yay, eyebrows. I, I can't even explain it. It's just the happiest thing ever to have eyebrows on your face and to be able to be like, oh my God, we slept in or we took too long. Um eating cereal or somebody randomly had to use the restroom last minute before we got to go out the door so it's like yes I gotta run out the door you know we're not gonna be late because I got eyebrows you know eyebrows saved me and um I'm glad I'm glad I don't have any blemishes or pimples here and there you know if I do have pimples obviously get your compact play dot to dot and like you know put it where you need it I don't see the point of having to splatter all over your face why are you gonna go waste makeup, spend all this money to just drop your kid off at school, you know? Unless I'm actually going out on a date or we're gonna go out as a family on the weekends, I don't see the point of wearing makeup. I really don't. I'm only 27, so, you know, to me, I'm glad I figured this out early. That I'm comfortable with being just me. You know, I do have dark under eyes. You know, obviously that happens when you lose sleep. Like, last night. Baby's teething is acting up again, and then Ashley didn't want to go to sleep. Um, so I had one. I was trying to get to bed, and the other one was waiting for me to go to bed because she's she's used to me. As soon as I go to bed, she would go to bed. She always waits for me. So the story of my life, I love having my eyebrows back. And honestly, now that I shaved my eyebrows and I waited for them to grow back, I'm so glad that they, like... They kind of grew in thicker, but it's not a bad thicker. I barely had eyebrows as it was, but now that they grew back, they're like a nicer, thicker, like a good size brow. And and I have something that I can actually like work with to shape different ways. So for a little while, I like worked on um, reshaping them different ways. I'm like looking around. You guys will notice my eyeballs because I'm like vlogging in my car. So I'm hoping that people aren't like looking like, hey, this girl's weird, like she's talking to herself. But, oh well. That way I can kind of just sit here and be like, oop. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy talking in the car by myself, really. Um, but yeah, glad to have my eyebrows. See, I started doing my vlog because I kind of just got the spur of the moment thing like, hey, I'm going to just do my vlog, you know. I normally wouldn't want to do a vlog when I have um, any of my boys with me. They're kind of like, they always want to talk or they always want to like act up or start getting somebody going and then it'll just be too noisy to be able to do anything. But he wasn't, he's always kind of quiet in the car when we're, we're sitting here waiting to go to school. So I was like, I'm going to take advantage of this moment. And you know, I kind of winged it and there you go. I got to say my eyebrow story, which is... <laughs> To me, now that I already lived it, it happened to me, I experienced it, um, now I can say, like, it's funny. It's really, really funny. Like, I can laugh at myself and say, hey, I had no eyebrows, and this is what I had to go through, and I can now say from experience, I do not think I will ever take my eyebrows off again. Um... Or I don't hope to accidentally lose my eyebrows again because of a barbecue incident. Now I have like this phobia of being too close to barbecues. My husband's like, go light it or whatever. I'm like, oh. But we have a different barbecue now. I got rid of that one a little bit after it happened. Because I was like, I'm never going to barbecue again with this one. Because of what happened to me. You know, it was already time for a new one, so...
we got a new one and I love barbecuing. You know, it's it's a fun thing to do with the family and you don't have to just barbecue only on the weekends or special occasions. Like barbecuing is like a random thing like, hey, for dinner we're going to barbecue and we're going to have some yummy barbecue for lunch, dinner, whatever, you know, just to kind of relax, but yeah. So I think I'm uh, probably end up ending it there. Probably talked a lot already. Don't want to take up too much people's time. But I'm glad I winged it. And I kind of got to tell you at least one of my funny stories. And then my husband's calling me. So I'm going to have to let you guys go. I got to go back home. And I got some more stuff to do. I think that's all the time I have for right now to vlog and fit it in my schedule because there's always something to do but is she awake oh look at she fell asleep see she already ate her breakfast and she already had her water so all right you guys i'm gonna go home that way she can go lay in her bed and rest <laughs> my baby let me see if i can see baby I do babies. What do my babies are sleeping okay? Okay, guys. Well, the girls are both sleeping, and now I gotta carry them both in. Have her walk, but carry the other one. But yeah, so bye. Hope you enjoyed my vlog. Um, it's a fun experience learning new things and working my way through it, and you guys kind of get to work through it with me. Um, instead of editing my videos, I thought it would be kind of better to just wing it and learn and let you see that I'm learning work together. So have a nice day. Bye.